Hello again folks and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest 3. I'm your Game Master Darius. Last we left off, we had ourselves a little bit of a grind. I say a little bit of a grind and uh, as a lie, I ground a lot. <laughs> I think I ground like uh, too many levels. So Darius actually has some new spells. Nope, that's not where we going to check that shit. It's not been a while since I played the game. I don't know what you're talking about. Eliza is, is disgusting right about now. Uh, if only because of the single damage that she does. Darius had learned three spells. Expel and Return at level 7. And at level 8, learned Remember. Remember? Remember, Recall, and there's one other spell that is just like it. Are pretty much exclusive to the hero to allow you to remember previous conversations that were had. Uh, Barai learned Sleep at level 9, Sap at level 10, and Antidote at a level 11. Sap, I really should remember to pull up the spells beforehand. Sap is words. Uh, weakens the defense of an enemy, so we will be utilizing that definitely in boss battles. Um... Besides that, Zdalara learned Upper, which is, once again, another good spell, I swear. Uh, increases the defense of one party member, so probably going to cast that on Zidalara. Zid when we actually get into the combats. And Ice Bolt, which has been really good single damage. Fireball at level 8. Uh, level 9, she learned Outside. Fireball affects everyone within a group. Uh, increase, which is like buff or like upper, except it affects the entire party for one battle at level 10. And then she learned return and bang at level 12. Now oh, what's the big deal about bang? It is early game, a pretty damn good spell. Also dead hands. Uh, dang you. Darius has not really been using most anything. Sorry, it's been a little bit, so I'm trying to get back to the hang of things again. Slow again. You prick. I won't lie! Fireball looks really damn good on this nest. Oh, also, the black like, boundary around the thing. Can't fix that. That's that's just part of the game. So suffer. Good poking. Good poking. Bang! Yeah, bang's really damn good for just doing as much damage as possible to all the things on the screen. So, now that we have finished our business for the now in Romilly, we're going to head up north to Kinev, I believe it was actually called. I love how it does seem to explode randomly, but it's not really random, it's just everywhere. I want to say that we're actually strong enough to the point, too, that we have a non-zero chance of Things starting to just run away from us on a whim. And yeah, Fireball hits a group. Bang hits the entire screen. Oh, I need to heal. Do I need to heal Zid? I think her HP was only like 31. Double checking because I'm paranoid. Uh, 37. Okay, still not much better. Ah, Krayubs. Actually, you three on those guys and bang. Zid having bang is just really damn good. Bang out. Eliza is disgusting as usual. Just that single hit damage is just really damn nice. 
And I know a lot of that is from the weapon, but blah, 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 blah. But here is Kazav. K Kanav? There's Kanave and Kazave. Uh, depending on the translation. Ah. Kazave, that was it. If you go west of this village, you will come across the Tower of Champagne. Yes, that's some lovely water. Even a weak magician, a very weak magician, can bring down a monster by hitting a po po that vital point with a poison dagger. Long ago, they used to sell them at the item store. Wonder if that's a midnight thing I can do. Up an armor shop. Yay! You're gonna have things that are better than what I already have. I'd say not by a lot, but that's five and five points each. I could also just get everyone scale shields, which is probably the better of ideas. We we'll get one for Darius. No, well, I guess we're equipping Eliza first. Darius. I'm too used to Darius being on the front line, but he is not as strong as uh, Eliza is with HP and armor and all that fun stuff, so rather not risk that. Do I have anything? Oh yeah, I can sell the old bone shields. So glad that I went and bought those the last village we were in. Don't want to sell the spiny whips. I'm sure the spiny whip will be useful at some point or another. Don't ask me when, I really don't know. I'll come in pursuit of Kandar, but apparently he has fled to the tower somewhere. I might as well have a nice quick nap. Ba 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 ba. Safe trip. Ooh, another ticket. We will save that for another day. Uh, speaking of which, why don't we go ahead and move that to the bag, as with the whip. I'll get just a little bit of organization. Ooh, boxer swords. Ah, don't come in here. Yeah, we just we just totally swiped the dude's boxer shorts, which by the way, male exclusive item. Uh sadly the hero can't wear it for whatever reason. Maybe too much dignity. Whereas for Rai can be all like, ha ha. And it is armor. It does provide defense. It's just the silliest thing to me. Alright. Moon. Rabbit's foot. Oh, this one? Okay. It actually increases luck. I'm going to take a stab and say that the rabbit's foot also makes it so as you... Uh... Get... A change in your personality, huh? Find grab bit. No? Ah, whatever. We don't need it, but one of those things that's just good to know, good to have. Let's actually purchase some full moon herb. Full moon herb is a thing that will remove paralysis, which is a really nasty status ailment. Because the villagers being the L's angry, the whole village was put to sleep. It's pretty difficult to believe this, but apparently there's an entire village that sleeps somewhere in this world. This is a local diner. Relax and make yourself at home while you enjoy a good meal. Okay, but also I saw those stairs. Nee <laughs> here. That's in particular. Ooh, life nut. If you want to meet with Mama and Papa, they'll be back in the evening. Ah, the fur hood. Can I give the fur hood to anyone in particular? Ooh, that's a good boost in defense. I'm going to give it to Zid. 
If only because she's got the lowest defense of the entire party. And I'd like to compensate for the defaults. I can't go in here. They... Hello to this person. There's a world-famous fighter buried in the town cemetery. They say that he defeated the grizzly with his bare hands. I hope I can be like that someday. And I think this should be the tenth small metal that we'll have found. So to that end, I'm going to return to Aliahan. Whee! Because the garter is actually a really good piece of defensive equipment. I don't remember how much def defense it is. But it's an amount. Hi! It should be 10. Yeah! One guard belt. Once we collect a 20, we'll get the blade ring, which is actually a really neat boomerang. Uh, much like how the whip will target a group, the boomerang will target the entire screen of enemies. Look at that. For the level... Actually, wait, is this armor armor, or is this... Uh, equipped. No, oh, it's an accessory. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, we'll keep that on her just to make sure that she's all good. I'm good. I'm just. I'm just happy to be playing this. It's been a week. It's been a week of me not playing it, and my kind of feeling like queer. But. but before we head back into town or do the tower or most anything really there is stuff to be done in the village after nightfall suck at your dead hounds Got it. Gotta love the additional visceral detail of just a hanging eyeball out of the zombie hound's head. I mean, you don't have to, but you gotta. Yeah. Oh, I meant to actually use something else with her, with Zid, but okay. Never mind. I thought we needed it. Da, 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 da. Man. Times like these is when I miss the ability to simply go, Hey, I would like to rest at a bonfire till night. Uh, Elden Ring, you spoil more than just other souls likes. Do, 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 do. But like the ability, huh? As much of the quality of life things that exist in this game are good, especially for early JRPGs. And don't paralyze! Don't paralyze! The chances of them causing paralysis is slim, because of how powerful paralysis is in this game. Uh. That said, don't get paralyzed. <laughs> ah, the rope knight. These guys are tough. Hit for pretty good damage. And they will occasionally summon healers. Did we already encounter? Pretty sure we did. Maybe we didn't. I don't know. Paranoid heal of Rai. Off screen, I'll give the life nut to Zidalara. Simply because uh, she's got the lowest HP at 37. You can grind. Uh, you can grind the different 
sorts of nuts and stuff off of monsters. Uh, you just have to know which of the monsters have the nuts. I actually think it's easier if you have a thief in the party, which I do have ideas about that, but we'll get to that when we get to that. <coughs> Come on, start turning to night already. I don't mean to make it seem like that this is taking forever, but these random encounters are not helping the situation. There we go. Twilight? Oh, one moment, folks. Hey, it actually unpaused this time. As opposed to me having to do extensive editing after the fact. What was I saying? Stuff. Nuts. Seeds. Grinding. Yeah, you can grind for them. But it takes a bit and probably better to do so with a uh, thief in the party. So, yeah, I like it a thief when you can. Okay. Okay. Also, the encounters do are supposed to change at night, although I really haven't seen much of the differences. It's relatively fine. There we go. And now that it's night... You can do stuff like say, hey, hello, hi, to the skeleton. When I was alive, I used to be a great fighter. They say I defeated a grizzly with my bare hands. Truth is, it was just iron claws. Ha 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 I mean, I don't know what's creepier. The skeleton that's mocking the living for thinking a story that's not true. Or the dude that is sleeping on a grave. Little column A, little column B. Now it's night. The poison dagger. And a club. <laughs> I don't think I was doing that in testing. So the poison dagger, or venom dagger, I think it was also known in various other uh, ports of the game, is weak. It is super weak. Mega weak. It is possibly one of the weakest weapons in the game that's not just a club or something. But there is a slim chance, I think a 1% chance, that if you stab someone with the poison dagger, it will outright kill a monster. So, you know, good, but not great. They're close already. Yep, that's what that's what happens with family businesses, man. Pub or not, they're close at night. Rumored that the elves live hidden in the forest west of no one else. No one no one kneels. No one ah. No one no. Please stop that. My husband might see you. Oh, uh, I must have dozed off. I wonder what the frick she was dreaming about. Alright. I think that was it? I do love how that was a good, um, actual sort of tip to finding the poisonous dagger. Like, oh, the, the item person used to sell them. You can just swipe it from the chests. <laughs> Batman. I think I already pointed out that these guys were called man ba mana bats in the previous or Game Boy Color version? Something like that. Stay up. And I love it when they failed their stop spell castings. Oh, actually, maybe I should go back to the inn really quickly. As much as I do want to head off to the tower and to some other places, doing so while tired is a bad idea. 
And by tired, I mean, uh, sleepy, I guess. Are we safe, Trip? All right. So, we can head north first, and I think that's what I'm going to do. If only to put stuff on the map. And to face off some new monsters that I do not recollect. That'll get easily thwomped because I think I overleveled. I say overleveled, but trust me, I'm probably going to be back into the grind really quickly anyways. Like, after whatever dungeons that there are. Ah. <sighs> Damn. Yeah. Six damage. Can we get up there without another random encounter? Creepy. Everyone's a snoozing. Strength seed. Probably gonna give that to me. Nothing in the bag. I can't get behind the lady either. Everyone's having themselves a nice little snooze. I hate sometimes. It's almost downright creepy, honestly. an entire village put to sleep. Ooh, an agility seed. Again, probably going to give that one to Zid. That's an adventure. Dang it. Tragic tale. Oh, I have no idea who you are, but please return the dream ruby to the elves. If they don't get it back, this village will be cursed forever. The elven village is near a cave in the western forest. Good tips. Good tips. Let's see, is there any additional things about this place? Already got the pot for the strength seed. Search an old man in blue near a small wall. Oh. Search behind the wall for a cheesy token. Go in the inn. Check the cupboards. Right. I forgot about the inns. Pension for having shit. One full moon herb. A leather kilt. Has a leather kilt any good? It's good for Eliza. Really good for Dare. For... Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, let's give it to Eliza. Paid for a medical herb. Why not? Wait. It's going to replace the garter belt? Oh, no. It replaced the chain mail. I'm a little bit angry about that, simply because the chain mail was kind of pricey. <laughs> Alright, already got the agility seed, already got the tragic tail. And we can head off to the west to find another place. Also snoring. Also snoring. It's a little funky, though, that you can't rest at the inn here. Now, hear me out. If you're that worried about ripping them off, just leave the change, you know? Blurs. Bang, bang, bang. Here's the good shit. And, like, the, uh... 
whatever place that was. What was the name of the village? Point is, the elf village is hidden. Please go away. My mother will be furious if she sees me talking to humans. Sounds like your mother's problem. It's my son's fault that our entire village was put to sleep. He eloped with the elven princess. I tried to make amends with the elves, but they still turned their heads from me. What should I do? I refuse to sell the humans. Please get away from here. My, what a fine and understanding people. As a human, stay away from me. What could humans possibly need from us? What? The village has no one else? Yes, we're responsible for that. I'm gonna go, my human. My human. My daughter Anne fell in love with a human. He stole our treasure, the Dream Ruby, and left with them, never to return. Elves and humans don't belong together, but she refused to listen. I bet he stole the Dream Ruby from her and she couldn't make it back here. I bet she regrets her actions now. Ah, I can't stand humans. Go away. My, what a loving mother that she seems to be. Let's see, was it here? Yeah, another small metal. To be fair, I don't think that there's much here in Elfenheim until after we do the deed of getting the Dream Ruby back. Actually, real talk, can I even... Nope. I cannot fast travel here to... <laughs> so the Game Boy Color version of the game, this place was called Elvenham. And I can't help but laugh at that because that is clearly wrong. Uh, give me a second, though. E success again. So I'm going to try to be quick with the cave. I have a map and everything. But this area is pretty cool, but pretty nasty. Because it has vampires. Blah. Ah, it's not just because of the vampires. Personally, I'm a werewolf dude myself, but regardless. I hate. 288 gold? They mislabeled that then. Now, we don't need to go there. Oh, boy, the dead stools. I forgot about you. So, dead stools, when they attack you can cause the enemy, or the uh, ally that they have attacked, to fall asleep. Not to mention, they have a mass sleep spell, which if you're fighting against, like, three of them at the same time, yeah, you're gonna have yourself a bad day. Alright, don't mind me as I also try to read this godforsaken map. I didn't mean to hit parry, but you know what? Aha! Quickly dodged, bitch! The fun fact as well as I'm trying to read this, uh, there was a typo in the Game Boy Color version of this game that made it so as you could not see where two of the different things met. So you were just kind of lost because you tried to read the map and I was like, where the, where the hell is this thing going? And then, before you knew it, you were dead. So, yeah, don't trust the tree, the Prima Guide 100%, folks. Go figure. That said, even the Prima Guide itself is not all that great. <laughs> like, ah, oh man, as much as I really love actual game manuals from back in the day. There's something to be said about the Prima Guides and their inaccuracy or their lack of information. And this one... It's a small metal. We're up to 12 now. Alright, so if I continue to the stairs here, I'll come out there go there, I'll go there. That's a lot faster anyways. I wanted to go here. Behold. 
This is a nice little healing spring. There are monsters about. Said uh, just as I was running into them. Ah. Yep. There's that sweet sense of freaking death coming our way. Okay. Another thing I need to point out, because this is, again, a translated version of this NES game. As you can see, there were symbols where the levels should have been. That indicate whether or not the character is asleep, paralyzed, or whatever. Oh, level 13 for Varai. Gale and Stop Spell. Wait, is Gale supposed to be Infernos? Oh, that's a bit of a game changer then. But I'm going to go ahead and save. Well, I can't save because not in the middle of inn or village, or whatever, and call an episode. When we return, we're going to find the Dream Ruby, shove it into the Elf Queen's face, and then go off and do other things as well. But between now and then, I'll also um, <clears throat> skim a little bit with the seeds. Thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you're all enjoying this series as much as I'm loving playing it. And as always, I hope to see you folks in the next video. Take care. Cheers.